I built a 10K per month personal brand in under four months just by writing on Twitter. That's literally all I did. And in this video, I'm going to explain the seven key things that I've learned so that you can start to do the same for yourself. All right. First of all, let me go back to why I started writing online in the first place. So back in mid 2023, so sort of like this sort of uh, July of last year, I'd just been through a breakup. I was in a pretty low place in life. I was stuck in a nine to five. I didn't really enjoy. I was working as a software engineer at a hedge fund. It's not a particularly fulfilling life, I'll be honest. Um, and at work one day, I basically stumbled uh, across Nicholas Cole on YouTube. And he was talking about writing online and how it had given him a sort of life of freedom. He could wake up, write about what he enjoyed. And it didn't take me long before I'd also found Dickie Bush, Danko, and they were all talking about doing the same stuff. And I've always enjoyed writing. Like I'm a mathematical guy, but I, I quite enjoy the creative side. So I was like, why don't I give this a whirl? Um, it didn't take very long for me to completely get down that rabbit hole. Like I just got, I just fell in love with the process. Um, and I jumped onto Twitter, which I'd never used before. I'd never, I'd never written a tweet until sort of mid November last year when I wrote my first one. And initially I jumped onto space, had absolutely no idea what to write about. I think I started posting like fitness content and just like general, like self-development advice and stuff like that. I didn't really enjoy it, but I quickly fell in love with copywriting, marketing and sales. So if you, if you go onto Twitter, there's a very big uh, community on there, which uh, is called like money X, which talks about all of the, these concepts and it's, it's very business inclined. And I, I really started enjoying that, that type of content. Um, and that's what I've built my whole brand off of in the, in the past four months on there. Um, and I'm going to now give you the seven things which I've, noticed um about writing online it's not specific to writing online it would also apply to if you were building a youtube channel if you were starting an instagram account just anything which gets your name out there um i'm going to tell you what i've learned uh, so that you can start to apply that to your own personal brand so first of all the most important thing to realize is that you're probably ask, asking the wrong question right now because anyone that comes into this this space they start out and they ask how to do stuff like how do I write tweets? How do I uh, how do I start to gain a following? How do I start to monetize my brand? It's probably the wrong question to to ask, right? What you actually want because what what that inevitably need, leads you to do is you end up in tutorial hell, as like people call it, right? You consume how to after how to tutorial after tu tutorial. You watch more and more YouTube videos. You never actually. You never actually develop the depth and the, the understanding which enables you to, to figure stuff out on your own. So what you actually want to do is you want to start asking why. So if you if you read a tweet um, that's done really well, instead of just going, oh, fuck's sake, like, why can't mine do that well? Ask why has it done that well, right? Look at the, look at the, the, the structure of it. Look at the first line understand what has caused that tweet to do well. And it would apply with YouTube as well, right? If, it did, if a video goes viral, look at it and think, right, why has that done so well? So that you can start to deconstruct that process and then apply it to your own channel. And this way you basically start to experience tutorials in real time, right? You don't have to go and watch a load of YouTube videos on how to do um, I don't know how to write better or how to how to build a thumbnail or stuff like that. You start to become a real life tutorial. Everything you do, you observe from the lens of, ah, okay, they've done it that way because this, and and it saves you so much time. Like honestly, and, and it makes you far 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 more valuable because you increase your own understanding as you go. Now, the second thing that I want to emphasize is that skill development is everything, right? If you are looking to money, make money online, you have to have something valuable to offer. Now that could be uh, copywriting, which is basically writing with the intent to sell stuff. Uh, it could be web design. It could be um, you're a really good video editor for YouTube channels, etc. But what people get caught up in is they, they ask questions like, how do I get a following? How do I make more money? They, they miss the point that those things are a byproduct of the skills which you have. So instead of asking those questions, I'll start asking, how do I get better at what I do, right? And the way I did this is I picked three to five really good writers in my space. And every morning I would consume their content. 
I would ask why. So it ties into the last point. And I, I, I'd ask, like, what, has, what do they do that makes them so good? And then I would immediately start to implement any anything that I noticed in my own writing. And if you do that consistently, it compounds, it compounds, it compounds. It becomes second nature and you start to be, become really good at your craft. And when people notice that you are good at stuff, they start to follow along with you. Now, the third thing as well, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. I think people get into the, the personal brand and the online space and they think that they need to craft this unique path for themselves. It's just not the case at all, right? People have already laid a proven path for you. So when I joined Twitter, I just looked, right, what are the people two to three steps ahead of me in the game doing? I looked at the journey they'd taken and I just backed, backtracked from where they are now to, to where they were in my position. I could look through their old content and just go, ah, right, when they started, they started posting this content. A couple of months in, they started posting this content. That's how I transition and that's how I start making money off of this thing. Uh, you don't obviously copy their content, but you copy the path they took. Don't try and reinvent the wheel. You'll make your life so much harder. Now, the fourth thing, anyone that I, I end up working with, and for reference, um, I do a mix of, st uh, mix of services. I, I, I help people build their post in a brand. I, I, I coach people on how to do that for themselves. And I also do some freelance um, copywriting work for, for individual clients. Um, and any time I, I start working with someone, one of the first questions I ask them is, why did you pick me over anyone else? And it's their answer is almost never that my offer was so valuable, that my brand was so unique, or, or that my content was just so good. And I'm sure that that stuff does play a part in their mind. But in general, the, the people that work with me, they they work with me because of the vibe I give off, right? It's because they resonate with with me on a, on a personal level and they actually enjoy talking to me because we have some commonalities in our views on life, how we act, the sort of general energy we give off. Um, and this is, this is so overlooked, right? People think it's always the most valuable person that, that, that gets the, the money or whatever. It's not, it doesn't always work like that. Humans, we like to think we're really rational. We like to think that we make decisions purely based on logic. But most of the time, all of the decisions that we make are driven by emotion, not logic. Um, so you need to appeal to that emotion with your content and start like, start losing the filter and start just being unafraid to be you. I guarantee you, you will attract a much bigger audience and, and build a much more powerful brand if you can just say fuck it and just start being you and, and just and just embrace the vibe that you give off. It doesn't have, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. In fact, in, in a world full of extremes right now where everyone is fucking just mad, the, probably the best way to stand out is just to be a normal human. That's what I would say. Um, now, the fifth content, the fifth point is everything now is short form. It's TikTok reels, it's Instagram, it, it's YouTube shorts. Everything is trying to grab your attention, but there's no depth behind it. So if you want to stand out, the way you do that is you, you start to shout deeper. You don't shout, start to shout louder, right? Prioritize long form content. If you're a, if you're a writer, Prioritize long in-depth analysis of stuff. If you're a YouTuber, don't like, I mean, obviously you can still use YouTube shorts, but the real value and the real connection comes from, from those long in-depth um, videos that you share with your audience, where you maybe dive into a personal story, where you build an actual connection. You cannot get that from a short and long term. This is what's going to help build your brand so much more than just whipping together a quick five second video i guarantee you long form is is the way to go when i first joined twitter and i started writing online the first thing i did was for three months straight i i would write a in-depth long form post on a certain topic that i thought my audience would find interesting every single day without fail and no one else did it and guess what the people that didn't do it are still struggling to find connection with their audience because depth and length of content is is what actually builds connection and what makes people follow you and ultimately makes people want to work with you. And in a short form world, the way to stand out is to go long. That's what I would say. Uh, the sixth point I've noticed is that 
tomorrow never comes, right? So many people get into this space and they they wait and they wait and they wait for the perfect opportunity, but there will never ever be the right time to act, right? If you wait until tomorrow, you'll be waiting forever. So if you've got a, a, a blog post or a Twitter post or a newsletter that you're waiting to send, you're waiting for it to be perfect, just fucking post it. If you've got a YouTube video you want to post, but you're not sure if the thumbnail is quite right, or you're not sure if you've, you've phrased stuff perfectly, just fucking post it. You'll probably be more real anyway. It'll probably come across as more authentic. If you've got like a product that you're launching and you, you're you waiting till you get all of the marketing right, just go ahead and launch it for fuck's sake. Like just do it, find out, and then learn the lesson that will then propel you forward much faster in the future, right? The, the quote that I've come up with for this um, is the lessons you learn from the failure of doing stuff too soon are far more valuable than the lessons you didn't learn because you were too scared to do anything at all. I quite like that quote. I think it sums it up quite well. Um, you can be the judge of that, obviously. Um, now, the final point I would say is everyone obviously tells you your network is everything and that it's all about the people you know. And to some extent, I, I really agree with that. I think it's true. Um, but what I think uh, people misinterpret this as is build as wide a network as possible, try and get to know everyone. And inevitably, anyone you get to know, if you try and get to know 100, 200, 300 people, there's only a, there's only a certain level of connection you, de you can develop there. What I've instead found incredibly valuable is just picking out three to five guys that I genuinely really like, that I genuinely vibe with, and I, I genuinely enjoy their content. Um, because those are the sort of people that you're going to be able to grow together with and it, for it to actually be enjoyable. And instead of being like embarrassed to share someone's content because like you're in part of some like engagement group trying to like climb up the ranks of social media, you'll actually be proud to share these guys' content because you genuinely enjoy it. And these are the guys that are going like to help you out, share tips with you, like you can, you can brainstorm ideas together and also just have a laugh. And it makes the whole process so much more enjoyable. And generally like when I project three to five years in the future, the, these are the guys that I think, well, we're going to be able to look back together on and go, fuck, like we did all that. That's, that's insane. Like as if, as if we actually accomplished all that. And that to me is pretty fucking valuable. I'll be honest. So there you are guys. There's the seven tips that I would give you if you are starting a, a personal brand today from someone that's, that's built a 10 K a month brand in, in under four months. So I, I do, I think I have somewhat, uh, somewhat of a uh, value to give you. Um, there's stop asking how, start asking why. Prioritize your skill development, whatever that is, over everything else. Reverse, other, reverse engineer other people's success. Your vibe is so, so important. Just be authentically you and people will come. Um, shout deeper, not louder, i.e. prioritize long form content over short form. That's the way to win in this world. Um, stop waiting for the perfect time and just do it today and just build a really close, like a close tight knit group of guys, you or guys that you genuinely enjoy, um, working with, and it will make the process so much more enjoyable. Now, if you did enjoy that guys, I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things. First, like comment and subscribe to the channel. It, it will help me grow and hopefully I can provide you more tips like this. And then secondly, subscribe to my newsletter. There's a link in the bio. I drop. Um, daily insights into how to grow a personal brand um, and how to monetize it every single day to my newsletter, guys. Um, so if you do want more tips, that's what to do. Um, I hope that was useful, guys. I'll see you in the next one.